How to get the activity app on iOS 8.2, no jailbreak required. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm running iOS 8.2 on my iPhone 5S and iOS 8.2 comes with the new Apple Watch app, but it also comes with another app called the Activity app, which is hidden from view. It actually is on the device, but you can't actually play with it. You can't actually view it because it's hidden right now. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna just unlock the Activity app. And I'm gonna show you how to do so right now on uh, this iPhone. You can follow along with it on your iPhone running iOS 8.2. So just a couple of preliminary steps. You obviously want to be connected to your computer. You want to have a fresh install of iOS 8.2. That's what I recommend. You don't absolutely need to have a fresh install, but I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there now. I do recommend it. This works on both Mac and Windows, um, but you can just follow my tutorial over on iDownload blog. I have step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to do this. Now, before we get started, the short story is this. We're going to create a backup of this iPhone using iTunes. Uh, just like you normally do, create a backup to your computer. We're going to go in and modify the contents of that backup with a couple of additional plist files. And then what we're going to do is we're going to restore the modified backup back to this iPhone. Super simple, super easy, and that will unlock the activity app for iOS 8.2. So let's get started. I actually have a post over on iDownload blog, so you can just follow this post. It works with Windows and Mac, although this tutorial obviously was done on a Mac, so just keep that in mind. Your mileage may vary. All right, so step number one is to download the fitness.zip file. I actually have it linked there on the post in step one on iDownload blog. I've already downloaded it on my desktop. I'm just going to extract it just by double clicking it. And the fitness.zip file should have two folders here. You should see system files and user app files. And they both contain a plist file. Uh, so you're going to need both of those files eventually once we get through this tutorial. So just keep that on the back burner for right now. Now you also want to download and install iBackupBot. Now I have links to iBackupBot for Mac and for Windows right here in the post on iDownload blog. And uh, basically you just want to download and install that. Now step number two, or step number three actually, is to open up iTunes and you want to create a backup of your, of your phone. So obviously you want your device hooked up to your computer and then you just want to make sure it's selected on this computer because you want to back it up locally make sure encrypted iPhone backup is unchecked and then just click backup now just like that and it's going to back up your iPhone if you did a clean fresh restore or install like I suggested then the backup shouldn't take hardly any time at all I mean it should be almost instantly all right so once we do that you can see today 11:01 p.m backed up to this computer uh, so we can just minimize that now we'll come back to that a little bit later now you want to launch iBackup bot so I'm going to do that right now here's iBackup bot all right and it should find the backup you just created there it is 1101 all right so now what we want to do is we just want to follow the simple steps outlined here in my post so the first step well, actually step number five is to navigate to system files home domain library preferences so I'm going to do that so go to system files home domain library and then preferences and then basically you want to just import the plist file that we downloaded the zip file we're going to import the plist file from the system files folder so we're going to open up that fitness folder you see the system files folder, you see com.apple.fitness.plist. We want to import that using this import button here. So just click import. All right. And we want to take it from system files. So click on system files. And then actually you want to go into the fitness folder. I actually have two copies on my desktop, but go into your fitness folder, go to system files, and then you should see com.apple.fitness.plist and then click open and it'll say one file imported to backup, okay? Perfect. Now you wanna do basically the same thing except in a different area. So we wanna do user app files this time. So let's just close this disclosure triangle, uh, click on user app files, and then we wanna to go to com.apple.fitness, com.apple.fitness, and then you wanna to go to library, library, and then preferences. And then we want, just wanna do the same thing except we wanna take it from the user app files folder of our unzip file. So click import and then select user app files and then select this plist and click open and then click okay. 
All right, so we're done with iBackupBot. It's that simple. So you just close out of iBackupBot. We've modified the uh, the uh, backup, the system backup, and now we're just gonna perform a restore. So uh, let's close out of everything here. And we can just minimize this. Open up iTunes again. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna just restore the backup. So click on restore backup. And you see the last backup is the 1101 backup. That's the one we just modified. Click restore. And it's going to restore that backup uh, that we just modified to your iPhone. So you can see it's restoring. And this should go really, really fast because really all you did was change like two files. Um, so yeah, so we're done with our computer. We'll just wait for the uh, restore to complete. It's basically restarting your phone. And like I said, it's just so easy and it's even easier. Like if you perform a clean install on your phone, I, I just can't recommend that enough. If you want to get through this as quickly as possible, obviously like if you need your data and stuff, I understand that. But, uh, if you can, if you're using this, uh, if you're just testing it out and if you do a clean install, then this goes super, super fast. And we're almost already up. So once we come back up in theory, we should see the new activity app unlocked and ready to, well, at least ready to explore. You can't actually use it now because there's no Apple watch yet. All right. So excuse my little shaky doc here. It's not the best. All right. Let me see if I can read this. All right, so I set all that up, swipe over, and there is the activity app. Yes, so I'm gonna tap on it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the activity app, ready for you, you to explore and uh, check out. And if you wanna see what it's all about, you can do that. Uh, of course, I have a full walkthrough on the activity app and what it all does, or, you know, what, it's all there basically right now. Like I say, you're not gonna be able to do a whole bunch of stuff yet because you don't have an Apple Watch, but you can check out all the achievement badges and stuff like that. If we have a full walkthrough, you can watch the video on IDP as well. So hope this is able to help you out. This is a uh, overview of how to get the activity app on iOS 8.2. It also works on iOS 8.3 beta 3 as well. So uh, if you're running that for whatever reason, you can do it on there as well and feel feel fine. So hope this is able to help you out. Please let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. It has been the activity app on iOS 8.2. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.